The cart with mass m traveling to the right at a speed vo collides with the second cart traveling to the left at a speed of twice the vo. If the second cart has a mass 6 fifths times m and the two carts couple together as a result of the collision, Find their final velocity at the end of the collision. It's a collision problem, so I can use the conservation of momentum. When I write the momentum conservation equation, what do you think I have to be careful with? I have to pay attention to the direction. If I say this velocity to the right is positive, I have to say the velocity to the left is negative. So the initial momentum is the momentum of these two cards added together. The first card has a mass m, velocity vo. The second card has a mass 6 fifths m, the velocity is negative 2 vo. Afterwards, the two cards stick together, so the mass that's moving will be the sum of these two added together. And they move together with that same final velocity. So let's see, if I factor out m and the vo, I will get 1 here plus, actually minus 12 fifths times m v o. And this side I would have, uh, if I factor out m, I get 1 plus uh, 6 fifths times m times the v f. So the m's will cancel. And on this side, I'm going to get negative 7 fifths v o. On this side, I'm going to get 11 fifths v f. So if I solve for Vf, I will get negative 7 over 11 Vo. And this is a negative velocity, so it must be going to the left. Now let's take a look at these two gliders. The first glider has a pin attached to it. The second glider has a cylinder filled with clay. This way, the two gliders can stick together after they collide. I have also added some extra weights to the second glider so it can be heavier than the first one. We're not making measurements. We're just making some qualitative observations. I'm going to turn on the pump and uh, make the two gliders collide with each other. The first glider travels to the right while the heavier glider travels to the left at a faster speed. Just like our calculation, there is more leftward momentum before the collision, so the total momentum is leftward. Therefore, both gliders move together to the left after the collision. Let's try a few more completely inelastic collision scenarios. If I can make the leftward momentum equal to the rightward momentum before collision, what do you think will happen to the gliders after collision? The net momentum of the system is zero, so the gliders should come to stop after the collision. If I make the first glider go to the right at a much faster speed than the second glider's leftward speed, the total momentum of the system will be going to the right. Therefore, the final momentum should go to the right. Next, 
Let's try having the first glider collide with the second glider that is initially at rest. In order to keep momentum conserved, the first glider must slow down after the collision because there is more mass moving after the collision.